Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna be talking about breaking chain. And my special guest, who has been in another how-to video, is Kelly McDaniel from the Diamond Chain Company. Kelly, welcome back to the show. Hi, Tom, it's great to be back. It's great to have you here. I see chains, I, I see, I don't know what this is, but I see a vice and, and then I see a, an extra mask over there. What are we gonna be doing today? Today, we're gonna demonstrate some basic procedures for counting, breaking, extracting, and connecting strands of roller chain. All right, I've never done that before, but it sounds like fun. How are we gonna get started? Before we get started connecting chain, we need to understand why it would be necessary. So let's imagine for a second that we're at a grocery store, mm -hmm. and for some really important reason, we only need one banana. Just one, not six foot, seven foot, <laughs> eight foot bunch. No, no, okay, so just one? Just one. All right. And say you see a set of eight bananas, two bunches of six, what would you do? Uh, I'm gonna break one banana off. Exactly, and imagine you have a chain application that only uses one foot of chain, but you have 10 feet on hand. What would you do then? Go back and get a banana? No, no, just like the banana, I mean, I guess I'm gonna break the length of chain that I need. Exactly, Okay. because different machines require different lengths of chain. If you need a shorter length, you can break the chain. If you need a longer length, you can combine multiple strands together. All right, then what do we do next? Here we have some tools we're gonna use today. As you said, we have a small vise. All right. We have our hand grinder. Okay. We have our diamond chain pin extractor, and we have PPE. Uh, we always have to wear our PPE. Make sure you wear your personal protective equipment no matter what the job calls for. Make sure it matches. Now you got that. I know we're gonna put on some gloves too because yes. there's a little bit of oil on the chain as well, but uh, you have a, a an extra special mask and I'm just assuming that. Uh, I'll go ahead and warn you. We're gonna see okay. a few sparks fly. I kind of figured that, all right. So while we're putting this on, what exactly will you be doing with the grinder there? Going back to our example, we need one foot of chain, but we have a 10 foot length on hand. Okay. We're gonna have to count the number of pitches we need to get a one foot section. And what exactly is a pitch? A pitch is a length from one pin to the next. And it's really the best way to communicate specific lengths of chain. For our demonstration, we have an ANSI 80 chain and it actually has a pitch of one inch. All right, quick math here, chain, pitch, one inch, need 12 inches, so we need 12 pitches of chain, which is I believe what we have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay, yeah, we got 12 there. Exactly, but we're only gonna cut 11 pitches. And the reason is the 12th pitch is so you can connect the two ends together, it's okay. for the connection. And then that would make it that one foot once you connect that together. Exactly. And because it's a riveted style chain, we're gonna remove the pins using a grinder. If we were working with a cotter, we would remove the pins and just assemble from there. All right, mask is coming down. That means I guess we're gonna start grinding. All right, I'll step back, have at it. It's clamped down and secure. Here we go. Nice job, you ground that nice and flush there. So we've ground the pins down flush with the link plate. Mm -hmm. And if you were gonna to try to extract the pins without removing the mash heads, the extra material could cause damage or dislodge the bushings, creating a lateral pressure on the joints and cause overheating, which would result in premature chain failure. All right, so now that we've got that, we're gonna try and get the pins out, right? Exactly, and okay. this is actually pretty easy to use. What you see here is an adapter that lets you extract the pins of multiple sizes without mm -hmm. having to change the inserts. All right. So we have this one set for our example at okay. one inch. All right. And by pressing down on the lever, the extractor pins will remove the pin from the link of the okay. chain. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see it come out on the bottom right there. Yep, exactly. And for our last step, we're just gonna connect the two ends together. All right, I'm gonna put this down, and uh, what do we do for that? When you're joining strands of chain together, you basically have three options. You can use a riveted connecting link, a spring clip connecting link, or a cottered connecting link. Now, is one of the options better than the other? That really just depends on the application. It's something that both your motion and diamond chain representative can help you determine. For our demonstration, we're gonna use a spring clip style connecting link. Now, is there anything specific we need to know as you're doing this? Only that the solid end of the spring clip, which is here, mm -hmm. this is open, is gonna, needs to face the direction of travel with the sprockets. Got it, so we're going this way with the sprocket. Okay, all right, exactly. so we'll put this together here. Make that so you hit the grooves okay. in your link plate. All right, good snap there. Solid in. And there is your chain relinked. Nicely done, Kelly. 
Thanks for all your help. And so we had the four steps today. We had counting, breaking, extracting, and connecting chain. As always, Kelly McDaniel from the Diamond Chain Company. Hopefully this will help you with your practical application. And if you have any questions about what went on today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. And uh, as you saw, lots of PPE, personal protective equipment on today. We had glasses, we had gloves. Kelly had the face shield on as she was using the grinder. Make sure that it matches the job, whatever you're doing. That's the right way to do it. And also, if you get a chance, check out some more how-to videos from Motion Industries with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.